All right, Wolfpack, happy Sunday. Hope you guys had a fantastic long weekend. You got some chill time. Um, ate a little bit of extra food, so we're um, good and fueled for this week. We've got some pretty intense workouts. Oh, I got something in my eye. Um, super exciting, though. Um, so hope you guys are ready. We're going to start off with our um, gift card giveaway. Sorry, I got something in my eye. Uh, it was Wednesday this last week that was our gift card giveaway day. So we'll take these names, 65 total, I believe. So pretty solid, not our best day yet. Um, the first week was actually the best. Uh, but I'll take it for Thanksgiving week. Um, so we'll copy-paste these, put them into our list. Remove last week's list. New list. See who our lucky winner of the $50 gift card is. This week we will be back to Thursday for our uh, special day since last week was Thanksgiving. Who's it going to be? Alyssa Barker, congratulations. Um, $50, whoever you would like. Okay, uh, back to the good stuff here. Uh, Monday, we're going to do our final little... This is super annoying, guys. Um, hang clean and jerk work since Saturday is the nightmare before Christmas, and a lot of our athletes are doing this complex um, on Saturday, but also it's just a good opportunity to work on our power clean motion um, and a little bit of jerk motion. So, so every 75 seconds for eight sets, you're going to do two hang power cleans and one split jerk. So we have our push press and push jerks down here on Wednesday. So I wanted to get some split jerk practice in um, on Monday. So make sure we're using appropriate weights so where we can complete the split jerk. Uh, remember, we deadlift the first one up to the hips, get set from the top. And remember, we don't want to have any pausing motions during these uh, hang cleans or any hang motion in general, right? Into the hips, slight little knee bend, get everything loaded from the top. And then we push the hips back, chest in front. As soon as that barbell reaches the knees, we retract it right back into the hips and we get vertical. Okay, so we see a lot of people, they'll track down to their knees, they'll stop kind of be in more of a squat position and then they'll try to get vertical and get the bar back into the hips and all that really happens is they start pulling really with their arms barbell goes out in front so make sure we get set at the top and then when we're ready hinge back chest comes in front of the bar and then we go right back into it so it's kind of like we're stretching the rubber band of the muscles right as we track down and as soon as it hits the knees we spring right back up with zero pause you're going to be more explosive it's going to be smoother it's going to feel more like a, a clean olympic lift should all right and then we'll stand up um, with our final split jerk. So again, with our bar paths here, just make sure that we, since we are tracking down to the knees, we're not pulling early. We're letting the barbell get all the way back up into our hips uh, with our legs, and then we extend vertical, and then we big pull um, with those elbows. So we're trying to get as high and tall as possible that vertical bar path. So focus on those in the in the lighter set. So again, probably two, three easy sets, and then we want four to five, you know, a little bit more challenging sets on this. Um, this uh, little EMOM set, okay? And then this Metcon is just purely written for uh, the CrossFit Open potential uh, workout they're going to put back in. You can see them repeating this one. It's a very easily repeatable one, a very easily improvable one, um, since it's pretty much just grunt work and deadlift and burpee volume. So um, I'm forecasting that uh, whether it's Castro or not who programs, this is probably going to come back. So we're just going to do a little practice. I did write a partner workout. Um, for some of the bigger classes, we do have a ton of rowers, right? I think one is down, so we only have 14. Um, so we have a partner version. We'll go over that as well. So this is a, a for time workout. We're going to buy in with calories on the rower. So 55 for the males, 45 for the ladies. Um, one through 10 is 55 reps, right? 55 times two is 110. So 55 plus 55 is 110. I, I know it's pretty cute when you program things uh, all in the same number. So starting off with the row, this needs to be something we can do in less then three minutes, I would say, maybe three and a half minutes uh, maximum. So that gives you a chance to do some about uh, 15 calories per minute. We'll put you right over that uh, three minute marker. For guys, I think if you're rowing about 1100, you're gonna be right about 15 to 16 per minute, um, which is a, a decently fast paced. Ladies I think it's closer to 950 or something like that for the same um, time domain. But three and a half minutes or less on the row is gonna be ideal. That way it gives us ample time to get through this. And then when we finally get back to the rower, we're either going to have time to finish it or we're just going to sprint out as many calories as we can, get a really, really good uh, fatigued uh, row stimulus. So three and a half minutes or less. And then one to ten of deadlifts and bar facing burpees. We've done this section before. I think we did it on a Friday and it was a 10 minute cap where you did this and then we did max toes bar with the remaining time. You guys might remember that. You kind of should have an idea of how long this is going to take you. Obviously, you were fresh then. The row is going to fatigue all of this. So we need to row 
at a pace that's fast enough to get it done, but not so fast that we are destroyed for the deadlifts and the burpees, since we all know the rower is very fatiguing in the posterior chain and the pull, and you have those same motions here and here, okay? A lot of hinging, so one deadlift, one burpee, two deadlifts, two burpees, three deadlifts, da 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 da, da until 10 and 10, finish that, and then again, same calories on the row on the backside, and your goal would be to, to hopefully, we're trying to get it in this time cap, you finish that row a little bit faster than this first row or very identical would be a good goal. So again, don't get sucked into the trap of these ascending rep schemes. The workout doesn't start until you hit round eight because eight, nine, and 10 are 27 reps. And um, wait, eight plus nine is 17, 24, whatever. You get the gist. Um, it's half of the workout, eight, nine, and 10. You've done a bunch of these workouts. So you know that one through seven is just the, um, the warm up. Okay, so take a good pace, one through seven, that you know you can hold, and then eight, nine, and ten, we have to just make sure we can finish those strong enough, and we should have a deadlift weight where we can do all of these sets in no more than two sets, so all the way through one through ten should be on the barbell for no less than two sets, that way we can get this done in time, and then your burpees, right, breathe and move efficiently, and you'll have a fantastic workout. The partner workout is the exact same thing, it's just 15 minute AMRAP, you buy in with the calories on the rower. And then you guys split the work between the five rounds of 20 deadlifts, 20 bar facing burpees. And then if there is any remaining time, you're just going to do max calories on the rower. But I don't know how much time you'll have. This is a pretty long workout, right? 100 calories for guys is going to be probably four and a half, maybe five minutes, right? Each round here, this is going to take you probably 30 seconds together, maybe a minute. So 90 seconds times five rounds, what, 93 six seven and a half minutes so that puts you at you know 12 minutes right there so you should have a little bit of time on the rower at the end but just for the busy classes um it's not uh you don't have to do the partner workout but it's there if you need it okay ramble too long seven minute video way too long have a great monday see you back in the gym bye